very good morning to class plus 1 b as well as class plus 1 c fine so this is your uh, combined period of english today because of some interchanging and all students are still joining because they just got to know few minutes back only so it's okay uh before i start uh, sharing the screen with you all uh, let me tell you we are going to start the play mothers day okay and please uh, you should have books or snapshots with you though uh, plus one c i don't know whether you have done it or not even though if you have done it please uh, it's a relearning fine it's e learning as well as it is the relearning that we do no problem it is a revision okay so uh, please open your book snapshots chapter number 5 it is page number 32 it is a play actually clear the chapter mothers day it is written in the form of a play what is a play uh, which can be performed on the stage in which a lot of characters are there a lot of interactions are going on dialogues are there fine so that is known as play in english literature so in this uh, play a mothers day i have written uh, two themes basically interrelated only the status of mothers in their household family members take mothers for granted two things i have written what happens in this actually uh, before starting the play i would like to ask you only in your own families in your surrounding if you see that when it comes to cooking the food when it comes to washing the utensils when it comes to you know uh, taking care of the family members needs who is held responsible basically i'm not saying in all the families it's same but in most of the families who is considered responsible a mother is considered responsible fine whether it, it is about taking care of the clothes fine whether it is about taking care of the we can say food of the family whether it is about uh, the basic necessities uh, like your small demands a lot of small things in the family so whenever we talk about you know responsibilities basic responsibilities you know we people in the society have attached with the mother's responsibility fine these days i have seen one of the advertisements on the television though the advertisement it was of diapers but a very good message they gave to the society what happened in that ad uh, they show that you know that grandmother of the child is sitting somewhere and the child is just a, a you can say a newborn baby and whenever uh, that child cries grandmother calls mother only to change the diaper to feed him to make him clean fine i guess wipes and diaper something that kind of advertisement would be so then you know then there suddenly that uh, you know when when something happens to the kid only mother was called though father was sitting there rest of the members are sitting there relishing their uh, me time so called me time but she is being called again and again whether she was cooking food she was rushing to attend the baby whatever she was doing so the message at the end then suddenly father realizes when the other sibling of the newborn baby uski jo badi sister hoti hai uh, she says that acha clean karna hai uh, baby ka face clean karna hai jo to mamma hi karengi then father immediately realizes okay means if my baby has you know uh, what basic needs because the baby is dependent then only uh, my wife is to be uh, supposed to be like uh, clean the baby or attend the baby then suddenly he picks up the packet of the wife and he starts cleaning and the at the end they say ki with this wipes fine so that that the advertisement but the message is whenever any small core of the family a small work or big work whatever it is so we just call the mother aap apni baat karo aapko kuch gum jata hai you call your mamma ka gaya and you start yelling where is my phone where is my uh, uh, dress and it is not like this it is not like that choti choti cheezon ke liye aapko mamma yaad aati hai whenever you feel bad yes you remember your mother but when you want to you know fight with someone you cannot fight i'm not saying that yes but there is difference in the relation we had with the mother and we had with the father there is always a difference clear so in this chapter mothers day we are going to read about uh, the status of mothers in their own household hum mothers day pe to bahut sare status dalte hain happy mothers day i wish my mother gana lagate hain mothers day ka you know uh, picture and background and tiktok and a lot of things but are you really considering your mother a worth in the family are you spending quality time with your mothers are you giving her an off day so that she can take rest 
वी पीपल आर सिंग हम बहुत थक गए बहुत पढ़ लिया ऑनलाइन क्लास आंखें दुखने लगी स्कूल गए थे बहुत थक गए ट्यूशन गए थे बहुत थक गए मदर इज वेदर इट इज अ हाउस वाइफ और वर्किंग मदर बोथ आर इक्वली वर्किंग दीज डेज फाइन ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन दे आर बींग कॉल्ड ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन एनी थिंग यू से ये बना दो वो बना दो अच्छा ये नहीं खाना ये कैसे बनाया वी कीप ऑन यू नो गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन यू टेक योर मदर फॉर ग्रांटेड द स्टेटस ऑफ मदर इन द हाउस इन हर ओन हाउस होल्ड अपने ही घर में मदर की कंडीशन क्या है फैमिली मेंबर्स टेक मदर्स फॉर ग्रांटेड you know because mother is always ready to serve you 24/7 it means you start taking it for granted okay to ho hi jana hai as if if stops you just imagine that one day you wake up and uh, your mother has left a note for you that i am going out somewhere and i will come after two days i am going for the vacation fine i will come after two days wo do din apne aap reh ke dekhna you will imagine then how uh, you are so dependent otherwise we never realize unless and until Uh, we feel so clear so this chapter is going to talk about a mother's condition in family now i'm going to share the screen can you see the screen beta can you see the screen just send me thumbs up so that i can continue any of you fine Now, uh, this chapter, Mother's Day by J. B. Priestley, is a play. The following play is a humorous portrayal of the status of the mother in a family. Humorous. Now, what is humorous? Mean funny. Fine. They are going to uh, teach us a theme. They are going to teach us a moral lesson, but you know, in a very funny way. So it's very fun when we read this play. So you will really enjoy this, relish this. uh status of the mother in a family let's read on to see how mrs pearson's family reacts when she tries to stand up for her on rights so let's uh i'm going to introduce the characters here please have a look please try to understand so these are the uh, main characters of this play mrs ann pearson george pearson doris pearson sudel uh, pearson and mrs fitzgerald now mrs ann pearson is the protagonist of this chapter upon which this play is written mothers day so she is the one mother upon uh, which that jb priestley has uh, woven this chapter okay jiske bare mein main hum baat karenge mrs ann pearson is that lady let talk let's talk about only mrs pearson pehle main aapko thoda thoda bata dun kaun kaisa hai so mrs pearson is the protagonist apni book pe likhte jao side side main character she is very submissive in nature fine right? she is not at all dominating she listens to everyone in the family very easily she can gets convinced for the things so she is not you know that active and smart enough to get the things done so she is very submissive character okay then we have george pearson george pearson is a very dominating husband fine who is a self obsessed about his self needs that what i need is more important than what my husband uh, what my wife needs fine so george pearson is husband of mrs and pearson this is uh, all about the pearson family so set is also seen uh, scene is also set over there then we have doris pearson and cyril pearson fine and doris and cyril pearson are kids of uh, mr and mrs pearson clear we'll get to know them uh girl doris and then boy uh, cyril pearson we'll get to know both of them personally in the chapter when we'll read this and they have also started taking mrs pearson very casually you know that not uh, interested at all in what she does the, throughout the day but they are interested in uh, their things should be completed when they come back home then we have another important character this is equivalent to mrs ann pearson's character mrs fitzgerald okay she is uh, opposite to mrs ann pearson's character she is neighbor of mrs we can say she is neighbor of pearson's so pearson's ke saath wale ghar mein rehti hai mrs fitzgerald and she is uh, very dominating uh, very active and she is not at all submissive bilkul mrs ann pearson ke opposite hai wo apni baat manwa ke rehti hai sabse bold lady you can say so the action takes place in the living room of the pearson's house in a london suburb okay so london suburb is there we have to all you about the background of this play where it is set 
and the time is the present you know in london even today people are more into their own fun activities they more on personal life me time me you know that only me that i want to do this i want to do that i i become happy by doing this they do not consider their parents the important that important as an indian setting fine so in london and england this is even common seen these days also so in london suburb this action takes place in the living room of pearson to jo chapter start hone wala hai jo uska uh, living area hai pearson family ka time the present now a scene kya hai let's read that anybody would like to read but i i don't know most of the students in plus 1c so that's why i'm not going to unmute today okay let's decide that so i'm not going to unmute any of you because this is combined class and i don't know the students also so let's i'll be reading otherwise i involve students maximum times okay so the li the living room of the pearson family please send me thumbs up if if it is clear to you abhi tak jo maine bola aapko clear hua hai to please send me thumbs up 48 students are there fine Jacqueline, you have not sent me that PPC certificate. Please do it by today. All please. Okay, two three students are left plus one B. Those who are uh, not, they have done PPC. That is, Pariksha Pe Charcha. Please send me your certificate today by all means. I have already sent the names in the group. Don't make me ask uh, ask you again and again. Okay, so let me share the screen again. Shall we? So the living room of the Pearson family. Afternoon. का टाइम है एंड पियर्सन फैमिली इज देयर इन द लिविंग रूम इट इज अ कंफर्टेबली फर्निश्ड मच लिव्ड इन रूम इन अ स्मॉल सबर्म सेमी डिटैच्ड विला इफ नेसेसरी ओनली वन डोर नीड बी यूज्ड बट इट इज बेटर विद टू वन ऑफ लेफ्ट लीडिंग टू द फ्रंट डोर एंड द स्टेयर्स एंड द अदर इन द राइट वॉल लीडिंग टू द किचन एंड द बैक डोर देयर कैन बी अ मसलिन कवर्ड विंडो इन द लेफ्ट वॉल एंड पॉसिबली वन इन द राइट वॉल सो दे हैव जस्ट बिटर टोल्ड यू सो दैट यू कैन इमेजिन दैट वी आर द सीन इज सेट इन द लिविंग रूम obviously uh, furniture is there and walls and uh, windows and that sort of thing they are telling you the fireplace is assumed to be in the fourth wall there is a settee up right and armchair down left and one right down a small table with two chairs on either side of it stands at the center so chair and table is also there okay now when the curtain rises so play starts okay curtain rises because these plays are enacted on stage that's why they have used this word It is an afternoon in early autumn, and uh, the stage can be well lit. Mrs. Pearson at right, Mrs. Fitzgerald at the left are sitting opposite to each other at the small table. So, the table is the living room of Mrs. Pearson. Ka, uh, both of the ladies, Mrs. Pearson and Mrs. Fitzgerald, they are sitting over there, facing each other, right? And on which two cups, tea cups and saucers, and the cards with which Mrs. Fitzgerald has been telling Mrs. Pearson's fortune. Now, you might have heard about the tarot card reading. जिसमें हम फॉर्चून बताते हैं कि कोई भी कार्ड पिक करो एंड इफ दिस कार्ड कम दिस इज योर फॉर्चून दिस इज योर फ्यूचर सो मिसेस फिटजराल इज इनटू दिस शी इज अ टैरो कार्ड रीडर शी लव्स डूइंग दिस सो शी हैज बीन टेलिंग मिसेस पियर्सन फॉर्चून तो वो टैरो कार्ड अपने लेके आई है साथ में एंड मिसेस पियर्सन इज अ प्लेजेंट बट वर्ल्ड लुकिंग वुमेन इन हर फोर्टीज दिस इज द एज ग्रुप बेटा दे आर इन देयर फोर्टीज and uh, mrs pearson looks pleasant pleasing personality but always worried you know mrs fitzgerald is older usse badi hai mrs fitzgerald heavier and a strong and sinister personality sinister means you know there are some people who seem to be very negative characters you know very bold and always loud in that way she looks very sinister personality she is smoking you can see that वो स्मोक कर रही है इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दीज टू शुड हैव शार्पली कंट्रास्टिंग वॉइसेस मिसेस पियर्सन स्पीकिंग इन अ लाइट फ्लरिड सॉर्ट ऑफ टोन विद अ टच ऑफ सबन कोकनी ये पर हैप्स कोकनीज दैट देयर लोकल लैंग्वेज ओके लोकल लैंग्वेज जिसमें वो बात कर रही है बहुत ही प्लीजिंग वे से धीरे-धीरे से मिसेस फिटजरल विद अ डीप वॉइस रादर आयरिश एक्सेंट है उनका इन अ लाउड वॉइस शी स्पीक्स सो आवर द वे वी स्पीक आल्सो you know uh, give a went to over personality so she's very down to earth and worried looking mrs pearson mrs fitzgerald is loud and uh, you know sharp voice she held all clear about the characters now see you can see this picture beta fine mrs pearson and mrs fitzgerald both of them are having a cup of tea and conversing with each other 
so these two dialogues i'm going to read now mrs fitzgerald collecting up the cards and that's all i can tell you mrs pearson could be a good fortune could be a bad one all depends on yourself now make up your mind and there it is so she is before uh, picking up the card for mrs pearson she says that it can be bad fortune it can be good one it depend on your let let me do this so there it is mrs pearson says yes thank you mrs fitzgerald i am much obliged i am sure it's wonderful having the real fortune teller living next door did you learn that out east too means she is saying that you know you're living here in london so where did you learn this art of tarot card reading or fortune telling so mrs uh, pearson being very humble and sweet wo keh rahi kitna wonderful hai ki mera neighbor jo hai wo fortuner fortune teller hai and uh, where did you learn this art theek hai to aapas mein conversation chal rahi hai unki mrs fitzgerald i did 12 years i had of it with my old man rising to be lieutenant quartermaster he learned a lot and i learned a lot more but will you make up your mind now mrs pearson dear put your foot down once and for all you know irish accent hai to wo word kha jati hai last wale uh, and wo and bol rahi hai fine so mrs fitzgerald kehti mujhe 12 saal ho gaye hain i have been doing this even my old uska husband jo hai lieutenant quartermaster and she he also learned this uh, and she has also learned a more so that's why she knows the art of fortune telling this is an uh, this is a bit of study in itself astrology is there uh, tarot card reading is there there is proper reading of the stars and all fine right? so she says i have learned a lot mujhe 12 saal ho chuke hain but let me talk about you now will you take your foot down will you take a stand put down means take a stand for yourself mrs fitzgerald ko pata hai that mrs pierce is very submissive in her family nobody bothers about her so she is asking her to be bold like her usko wo salah de rahi hai Uh, once and for all, take the decision. Be the mistress of your own house and the boss of your own family. You have to boss your family. You know, smiling apologetically. Apologetically, you know that maafi mangna kisi se to usko lagta hai Mrs. Pearson because what she's asking me. That's easier said than done. Okay, can I yes, can I? But when it is come to practical thing, it is very difficult. Mrs. Pearson says. Besides, I'm so fond of them. even if they are so thoughtless and selfish they don't mean to be so she is saying that i am fond of them them here stands for all the family members of pearson family mrs pearson kehti i am very fond of my family i cannot say anything to them fine so if i will think like this that i have to be the boss of the family it is that i am being selfish mai aisa nahi kar sakti i cannot do this mrs fitzgerald maybe uh, maybe not but it would be better for them if they learn to treat you properly so she says unko pata hona chahiye how to treat you in the family yes i suppose it would in a way no doubt about it at all who's better for being spoiled grown women lad or girl so fitzgerald is saying that you know grown man in your family her husband is there your lad lad means boy girl so all your your uh, son your daughter your husband fine you think it does them good when you run after them all the time take their orders if you were the servant in the house stay at home every night while they go out enjoying themselves never in all your life it's the ruin of them as well as you husbands the sons the daughters should be taking notice of wives and mothers not giving them orders and treating them like dirt and don't tell me you don't know what i mean for i know more than you have told me so fitzgerald is saying that you do not tell me but i know better than uh, uh, that even ha you have not told me that your husband goes out every night for his enjoyment your kids both they go out for their enjoyment they never take you out they never ask you would you like to go you stay at home and when they come back you start taking their orders do this do that as if you are the servant of the family i beta i already told you ki na london ka jo system hai uk side pe people are so much into going out and partying outside and uh, you know they do not bother about other family members no doubt in all the families it's not there but yes it's a common thing since years so i think ki what about you why don't you go out you are there to take orders of your family they are treating you like dirt 
एंड तू मुझे बताती भी नहीं है इवन देन आई नो दैट व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ बिहेवियर दे आर शोइंग टू यू सो मिसेस पियर्सन ड्यूबियसली सो डाउटफुली मिसेस पियर्सन कहती है आई कीप ड्रॉपिंग अ हिंट हिंट इट्स मोर देन हिंट्स योर फैमिली नीड्स वो कहती है मैं अपनी फैमिली को हिंट देती हूं इस बारे में दैट दे शुड ट्रीट मी राइट वो कहती है हिंट दे रही है इट इज समथिंग मोर यू नीड टू डू मिसेस पियर्सन I suppose it is, but I do hate any unpleasantness. See, this is the problem with most of the ladies in our houses. उनको वो कहती मुझे unpleasantness पसंद नहीं है मैं नहीं चाहती हूँ घर में लड़ाई हो And it's so hard to know where to start. कहती what should I say to my kids? What should I say to my husband? I keep making up my mind to have it out with them, but somehow I don't know how to begin. She glances at her watch or at a clock. Oh, good gracious! Look at the time. Nothing ready, and they will be home any minute, and probably all in a hurry to go out again. So, कहती है कि oh God, see, बात हो रही है that I try to you know change their mind. But similarly, at the same time, she is looking at the clock. She is sitting with Mrs. Fitzgerald, having a cup of tea. ये भी उसका खुद का time है. That she is talking and gossiping with her friend. But even then, her eyes are continuously on the clock. Fine. Continuously, she's looking at the clock. So, वो देख रही है, सोच रही है, that nothing ready. मैंने कुछ बनाया नहीं है आज. किसी भी time मेरी family आने वाली है. What will I do? And all in a hurry to go out again. वो आते हैं, थोड़े दिन, थोड़ा time रुकते हैं, फिर भाग जाते हैं बाहर. Family members. They are so fond of going out, and they never take their mothers along with them. Clear? Yeah? So this is what they are doing. Clear? Yeah? Yes, beta, all clear to you. जितना हमने करा है उतना आपको क्लियर है सनमी थम्स अप जल्दी से Yes, so I'm getting responses. And there are some changes, so I was just accordingly seeing to it in the timetable today. Fine. Chill. Let's continue. So, uh, Diljit, are you taking note of the attendance? Send me uh, feedback for that. So, this is a joint class. those who have left in between chai kisi bhi class ke ho they won't be marked the present in between if they go 48 students join and two students have left so everything is being noted accordingly they take it for granted otherwise chaliye so uh, she is about to rise mrs vijral reaches out across the table and pulls her down जैसे ही वो खड़े होने लगती है कि ओ माय गॉड माय फैमिली इज कमिंग यू नो आई हैव नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड एनीथिंग अब क्या होगा मेरी व्हेन शी सो स्केयर्ड ऑफ हर फैमिली मेंबर्स इसका मतलब उन्होंने बहुत डरा के रखा हुआ है उसको सो शी इज अबाउट टू गेट अप फ्रॉम द टेबल फिर जिरल उसको बिठाती है कि सिट डाउन यू नीड नॉट लेट देम वेट लेट देम लुक आफ्टर देमसेल्फ फॉर वंस दिस इज वेयर योर फूड फुट गोस डाउन स्टार्ट नाउ शी लाइट्स अ सिगरेट फ्रॉम द वन शी हैज जस्ट फिनिश्ड सो quite opposite to mrs pearson's character pidgerald is very bold and uh, she says you should also take put down so you should also take a stand for yourself unko wait karne do aayenge to aayenge they will see for yourself see for themselves why are you so worried about them so she is embarrassed mrs pidgerald i know you mean well in fact i agree with you but i just can't and it's no use trying to make me If I promise you, I would really have it out with them. I know I wouldn't be able to keep my promise. I mean, Ji, kindly switch off the camera if you are lying on the bed and listening to the class. Ah, uh, it's quite embarrassing for me at least. Fine, Abneet of Plus One C. And there will be many others who will be lying in the bed and listening to me or attending the class. So please, uh, it's a request to all the students to arrange one table and chair for yourself and sit over there. and attend classes otherwise it's just passing the time right so uh, embarrassed you know 
embarrassed was the word is the app now mrs fitjir hall i know you mean well so she says that you know uh, mrs fitjir hall that uh, i agree with you but i just can't do this uh i want you know i want i can't do this to my family so she is not at all ready she does not agree with mrs fitzgerald but then fitzgerald kya kehti then let me do this for you if you cannot do i will do it for you mrs pearson fluster oh no thank you very much mrs fitzgerald but that would not do at all it couldn't possibly be somebody else they would resent it at once and would not listen and really i could not blame them kehti nahi mrs fitzgerald bilkul bhi nahi don't do this my family will go against it they will resent it you know and i could not blame them then i know i ought to do it but you see how it is she apologetically sits over there and across the table smiling rather miserably wo kehti ki please so she is requesting fitzgerald not to do anything on her behalf kehti ki let it be the way it is mrs fitzgerald cool you know you have not got the idea मुझे कोई आइडिया ही नहीं है मैं क्या कह रही हूँ मिसेस फिजर ऑल बिवल्डर्ड बिवल्डर्ड मीन कंफ्यूज मिसेस पियर्सन कहती है क्या बोल रहे हो ओ आई एम सो सॉरी आई थॉट यू आज मी टू लेट यू डू इट कहती मुझे लगा कि आप कह रहे हो कि मैं तेरी जगह बात करती हूँ आई विल टॉक टू योर फैमिली आई डिड मिसेस फिजर ऑल कहती यस मैंने बोला आई डिड बट नॉट एज मी एज यू बट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड यू कुरेंट बी मी Mrs. Pearson could not understand. Actually, beta, यहाँ पे अब क्या होने वाला है? Very important. Actually, I told you that Mrs. Fitzgerald is a tarot card reader. She is into fortune telling and she is into all those magic uh, things and all. She says, "Ah, uh, that I, you know, you cannot say anything. Fine, because you are so humble, so polite, so submissive." but i mrs fitzgerald being very bold and uh, outward and uh, who speaks her ad out i can say in place of you wo kehti nahi aise nahi karna hai wo kehti ki okay main ye nahi keh rahi hu that you know you speak this or i will speak on your behalf but if you exchange you know they are going to exchange personalities now is this possible in real world no it is not We cannot borrow the personality of someone. अगर मैं बोलूँ कि ओके उसकी personality borrow कर लेते हैं और ये काम हो जाएगा ऐसा नहीं है. But in this, you know, this is fiction only. That in this play, Mrs. Fitzgerald being bold, being very confident, being a very smart lady, she knows the art of, uh, you know, exchanging the personalities. जो उन्होंने हमें chapter में जैसे है, we have to follow that. and mrs pearson being very submissive very you know down to earth and humble scared of the family members wo kehti hai ki let's exchange the personalities i will do some i will chant some magic mantra and our personalities will be exchanged face ki baat nahi ho rahi beta personalities ki ho rahi hai personality means you are the way you speak the way you walk the way you do the things your thought process so she is saying i will do this that i will exchange personality mrs fitzgerald will become very submissive jo itni bold hai jo cigarette pee rahi hai drink kar rahi hai and very bold lady do not bother about others she will become submissive and mrs pearson she is going to be very very sharp and confident fine so ye maine aaj aapko bataya rest we will continue on monday itna clear hai sabko koi doubt to nahi hai beta plus 1 b fine have a nice day